everybody and welcome to today's episode of the vlog. My name is Sean and I am a YouTuber from Edinburgh in Scotland but today I'm in Dubrovnik here in Croatia and I am starting the vlog right now from a Game of Thrones location. That there behind me is King's Landing. It is extremely hot and extremely bright here right now in Dubrovnik. Actually this whole harbour area was used throughout the seasons in Game of Thrones. That I've watched till today now. Now a wee confession, I told you guys on the vlog some months back that I was watching Game of Thrones but I've not made it all the way through to the end of the published seasons yet. I'm only on the end of season three, starting season four, so still quite a lot to watch. Anyway guys, welcome to the channel. Great to have you all here. If you are new, do not forget to hit the big red subscribe button down below so you can keep in touch with all of my content from now on. And guys, let me tell you, this city is so incredibly beautiful. It is no surprise they used much of it for filming. Shame. 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 I'm already knackered. <sighs> so, we're up high now on the Dubrovnik city walls. 1,900 meters all the way around, up to six meters thick, and apparently second in construction in terms of walls only to the Great Wall of China. so high up the wall you wouldn't want to fall down there that is for absolutely certain no way that just goes all the way down into the ocean nah there are restaurants and stuff up here if you ever need a break and need a drink or something and let me tell you you probably will need a break I've needed a couple already it is very very high jumping off the, the rocks down there I didn't realize this but the water down off the back of the wall here is so so deep um, and the people are jumping off from really really high wouldn't it be me we've ate a lot on this holiday net well so hoping this kind of wall walk which is quite strenuous is helping to burn off some of those calories. <laughs> is sitting here in Dubrovnik and I am suitably knackered. Oh, I don't much like this part. Both sides of me, there's a big epic drop. No. When you're walking on the other side over there, way, way, way over there, and you look over to this side and you think that is the highest point because it looks like the highest point by far. But then when you come over here, and now looks like this is the highest point. So now I'm confused. I don't know what the highest point is. All I know is both sides are really high with two little bits in the middle and the, the view is unrivaled. <laughs> I think we finally found the, the top part of the whole wall right there. We've literally stayed to the last seconds possible of the sunlight, but it is now gone. That was the tour of the wall. It was an amazing, epic walk around. It took us about two hours. And to be honest with you, you couldn't really do it a lot faster than that because there's just so many 
good photo opportunities. It is a great, great place to tour around, and I highly recommend it to anybody who's coming to Dubrovnik. But one thing I would say is that it is a very, very strenuous walk. It is hard. I struggled, I'm sweating, I'm dying. I just washed my face in the cold waters there of the fountain because I'm done. I'm really done. It was hard work, but very, very worthwhile if you're here in Dubrovnik. Now that it's nighttime, I wanted to see the city in nighttime because there are so many old buildings that are beautiful and I think they would look good with lights on them. So we're gonna walk around in the city at night to see the lights, maybe get something to eat, definitely get something cold to drink, um, and take some more good photos and video. It is a beautiful, beautiful city, Dubrovnik. I am so glad we came here. But honestly though, if you are in this place, do the wall tour. Highly worthwhile, very recommended, and worth the 150 kunas that it costs to go up. Right, we are exiting the grand walls of Dubrovnik. Leaving the walls of Dubrovnik and someone is playing rock and roll over there. Yes.